Master Chief, thank you for joining us in the studio today. Uh, you're welcome, Tom. Now, we've just received news that Reach is under Covenant attack. Do you have any interest at all in, or any impulse to go and help our brave lads out there? No. But humanity is on the brink of extinction. Do you have no interest at all in, in getting out there and lending a hand? They'll do, they'll do the job. The, um, I'm not a one-man army, am I? I mean, I have faith. You should have faith. Do you not have faith? I do. Good. We'll be fine. I'm not a one-man army, I've said. Master Chief, thank you very much. After it was announced at E3 in 2009, Halo Reach is one of 2010's most anticipated games, and Bungie have a few critics to win over from Halo 3. Reach exceeds all expectations and shows why the Halo franchise is still as strong as ever. The shooting mechanic is still solid, and telling the story of Reach falling to the Covenant is a bold step. Luckily, it pays off, and playing as part of a Spartan squad is certainly thrilling. Also nice to see is the humanising of these gargantuan supermen, as they show true emotions for the first time. Another bold step is taking the fight into space. Fortunately, this new area is not overly used and is a welcome distraction. The biggest improvement over Halo 3 is the new graphics engine. Textures are now smoother and it actually looks like a true next-gen game as opposed to a HD remake. Online is still great fun and shows off the new classes available. You can also filter out loudmouthed Americans which is welcome. Bungie have left the series on a high and reaches up there with Combat Evolved as one of the world's definitive shooters.